How many people here support the use of medical marijuana? Well, so do I and a lot of other people who actually need it. And recently, people who suffer from Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease have been using medical marijuana as a relief from their symptoms. And this has shed light on the need for current research in this field. And I believe that research is extremely relevant and necessary because a lot of diseases like this, they need prescription drugs for treatment and prescription drugs can be harmful to the body. So in order to understand the relevance of this research, I first outlined what Parkinson's is. Then I will tell you how cannabis is able to treat the symptoms of this disease as, why, as well as why it's the upcoming and better option than pre-existing treatments. So to start with some background knowledge, you should know the gist as to what we know about this disease. So Dr. Ahmad al Kausi from the Parkinson's Foundation summarizes that this disease is a disorder of the nervous system that directly affects our motor functions. And according to Dr. Ryan Barnmore, there are five stages outlining the disease. So first, we see tremors in one side of our body. Secondly, tremors in both sides. Thirdly, it starts to affect our life. And then fourthly, hard to stand and walk. Fifthly, hard to get out of bed and we need a nurse all the time. And... Um, one of the most common rating skills used to describe the progression of this disease is the hone and yard stages which focus on the physical observable effects, which is what we will be talking about today. Dr. Bonmo also outlines this theory um, behind the progression called Brack's hypothesis, which states that the most early identifiable effects occur in the medulla and the olfactory bulb of the brain. And this is relevant because the olfactory bulb is responsible for our sense of smell, and losing our sense of smell is one of the most early identifiable identifiable uh, symptoms of um, Parkinson's disease. And this is important because identifying this early symptom can prevent um, the fast progression of this disease. And this disease will eventually spread to the substantia nigra and the cortex of the brain, which is when we start to see motor function issues like tremors. And um, in a 2003 study performed by Perrin Fall and her fellow researchers, they found that 171 patients with Parkinson's disease and 500 healthy individuals, after they checked in with them in 10 years, 71% of their 171 Parkinson's disease patients had died and only 45% of the 500 in healthy individuals had passed away, all about at the same age, and 53% of those PD patients died from pneumonia. And Parkinson's commonly causes pneumonia because these tremors make it difficult for the patients to ha to swallow food. So a lot of times food and liquid gets lodged in their lungs and it causes an infection. So even though there are already means to suppress these symptoms, we see that medical marijuana is an up-and-coming possible solution. So in 2008, um, in a journal written by Kumar and his fellow authors, they outline how cannabis actually affects the body. So first, there are two ways to um, absorb marijuana. So first through inhalation, which absorbs about 45% of THC, and secondly through digestion, which absorbs about 25% of that 45% of that same dose. So um, we see that with smoking, there's a lot faster effects, and with um, digestion, there's a lot slower effects, but a lot longer lasting. And... Um, Moving on from this, we see that cannabis is able to help this Parkinson's symptoms with um, repressing the psychomotor responses that Parkinson's induces like tremors by um, inhibiting motor responses from certain stimuli by blocking certain sensory, ne sensory neurons from sensing the stimulus. So explained in Sturtel, Dr. Abron identifies how, ca how cannabis can reduce pain. In a study with 23 patients, he's over a five-day period where they were all using marijuana. They saw an improvement in their sleep patterns, improvement in their mood, and, and a lowered intensity in their pain, which is really important for Parkinson's patients. So it's clear that cannabis has positive effects on the suppression of these symptoms, but you may ask what are other ways to treat these symptoms. So according to Dr. Chancey Spears at the Parkinson's Foundations, there are a number of treatments ranging from prescription medications all the way to surgeries. So firstly, prescription medications, um, all the different ones, are usually going to be responsible for replenishing the lack of dopamine that Parkinson's disease causes in the brain leading to these tremors. So these prescriptions usually reduce the tremors. And the other option, surgery, um, more commonly um, patients will start off with considering duopa, which is where they insert a tube into the gastrointestinal tract directly, inserting medication right there in a higher dosage. And um, secondly, there's deep brain simulation where the surgery goes in and they insert electrodes into the brain, where when someone starts to experience tremors, they um, it sim stimulates the um, electrodes and it momentarily disables one's motor functions. And issues with both of these is that there can be infections at the um, surgery site and issues with the brain surgery is that there could be seizures and strokes as well. 
and um, Dr. S sorry, um, other these both these treatments are unable to repress the progression of this disease. But um, according to current research, um, Dr. Bhavana Patel at the University of Florida shows that scientists have begun to discover that cannabis is able to prevent damage to these neurons caused by Parkinson's disease. And so this has led to research done at 40 different centers of the Parkinson's Foundation Centers of Excellence in Medical Marijuana. Um, according to Dr. Alano there, it has been found that medical marijuana is able to significantly suppress the tics that some of these medications cause that suppress even more severe tics caused by Parkinson's disease. So just an unending loop that medical marijuana could potentially help. And um, we see that in addition to pain relief, they... Dr. Alana, or I mean, sorry, Dr. Patel reports that 95% of neurologists at these centers say that their patients request prescriptions for medical marijuana. So again, all this information is in defense of research of medical marijuana needing more research so that it can potentially be a replacement for other treatments. So we see that Parkinson's itself is not a direct cause of death and its tremors cause pneumonia and medical marijuana can prevent these tremors which can prevent pneumonia eventually, possibly preventing death. We also see that it improves a patient's mood, sleep patterns, as well as their pain. And patients have options of how they consume this drug, either inhalation or digestion, getting different effects based on what they actually need and want. And we see that compared to the other options like prescription medications and surgeries, the effects of medical marijuana negatively are little to none compared to these other treatments that can be possibly fatal. And so knowing that 95% of these patients who have requested prescription medications probably experience relief from these symptoms, and also taking into account that we um, see a possible um, use for cannabis in um, relief and preventing damage from this disease that it has on neur damage that this disease has on neurons, we see that more research must be done. And it is now up to further research to investigate how medical marijuana could eventually pro prevent the progression of this disease if it is caught early, saving future patients from suffering. Thank you.